I, I lied. Okay, now anytime you're ready. All right. Uh, good morning, uh, ladies and Steve. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for coming out. I I uh, want to talk to you about uh, well, us as a class, I guess. Uh, we've been called the uh, instant gratification generation by like our elders, and uh, be like they because we know everything, or at least we have the capacity to know everything, like, you know, in, in 30 seconds, anyone in here, like, through some device, can tell me something I didn't know, and uh, I think, whether we're conscious of it or not, that has changed our thought process, because uh, we kind of mastered the technology that our future employers are kind of at the forefront of now, and I think it makes you important and valuable to your future employer. Um, I think that technology is important. I think it could help you kind of like reach your goals or like follow your dreams. And I know that sounds cheesy, but uh, following your dreams isn't just for like Disney characters anymore. Like it, it could really become a reality nowadays, I think. Because um, frankly, I, I think you guys are already like halfway there. You've already um, declared your majors, and uh, like, you're already specialized in the, in the craft that you've chosen. And uh, a lot of people don't have that, so I think that's coming. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about me and how I came to uh, where I am today. And I'm actually, believe it or not, I'm actually really living my dream right now. It's, it's pretty awesome. So, uh, I came to St. Peter's in the fall of 07. Yeah. I'm, I'm that old, so, and uh, I was really unhappy. I I declared a business management major almost immediately because I just wanted to get my degree and go manage, just manage, and uh, and I didn't like it. I thought it would like be the most fiscal responsible thing to do, but it it, it wasn't. And uh, about two and a half years later. Uh, last summer, I was just sort of uh, wandering around my house as per usual. <laughs> I very often just walk around my house. And I, I just uh, got in my car and drove to campus and just ran up to enrollment services. And I skipped the line because who needs to be bothered. <laughs> and, I <just> sort of <laughs> and I just sort of like started slamming on the desk and like yelling at the like <laughs> blank faces of the... Like, seemingly indifferent staff and I was just like 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 I like I want to be a filmmaker <laughs> and, and I was like I really like I really want to take film classes and like I, I, I want to write and direct and I started just naming like I want to be like Ed Burns and Kevin Smith and John Cassavetes <laughs> and she goes uh, the lady who works there you know like with the accent <laughs> she goes, she goes uh, like, oh, well, we don't have a film major, but the communication department has a film critique concentration. And I said, uh, yeah, like, I'll take it. Because, uh, as you all know, uh, Jean-Luc Godard was a film critic before he started writing and directing. And, uh, well, who better to compare yourself to than an iconic, prolific filmmaker, <laughs> I guess. That's sarcasm. Uh, well... Uh, so I, I was really happy, and I started take like I, I started loving school like for the first time in a long time, and um, and I slowly like I didn't tell anyone. I slowly started telling like my friends and family, and um, my I told my mom I would say like maybe the day after my twenty first birthday, and I told her uh, I told her I want to be a writer. And she was kind of startled. She was like, "Oh, well, you're almost done with your business major. You were like two and a half years in." But, uh, but she said something, and she goes, she goes, uh, Kenny, you, you were born a writer. And I was like, oh, like, thanks, Ma, it's really encouraging. But, like, you don't have to be fake nice to me. <laughs> and, and she goes, no, 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 you don't understand. And this is the first time I heard this story, and it's, it's pretty cool. Um, she says, when, when you were born, your grandmother told me as sort of like an old wives' tale that, uh, if you want your child to be successful, you take the their first fingernails, like the very the clippings of their of your child's first manicure, 
and you <laughs> and you put them in whatever you want them to be successful at. So she had suggested, like, oh, like put them in one of his father's accounting books so that he's good with numbers, or you know, put him in like a baseball glove. And uh, my mother, I should set this up. My mother's kind of artsy. She, my mother has two masters, one in French literature and studies, and one in education. And uh, my mother <laughs> put my fingernails in a collection of short stories oh. by uh, her favorite 19th century French realist, uh, Guy de Maupassant. <laughs> and uh, and I, she told me that day, and I was like, oh wow. Like, I, I guess I was kind of born to be a writer. So I share that with you, because I like you guys. You guys are <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, but mainly because I think it kind of speaks to like what you've already accomplished. Like, you guys kind of came in here and already like knew your passion and knew to make money off things you love, like your hobbies. And I think that's commendable. And, uh, you know, don't be like me <laughs> and rely on my grandmother's like pagan prophecy. <laughs> just, <laughs> just sort of like. I want you guys to sort of dispel the stereotype that you have to give up your interests because you're growing up. Like, it shouldn't be like that. You hear it all your life how uh, you got to do what you love and love what you do. And the truth is that, like, it's really all it comes down to. I know a lot of you, like, guys are in, like, fashion or uh, broadcasting or lacrosse, I think. <laughs> I don't know what you guys like. But uh, um, I'll leave you with this. Uh, in the, like, if you come into some money, don't like spend the whole weekend high. Just sort of like finance your futures. It's it's <laughs> it's really <laughs> like you you really can. It's a possibility to you you can finance your dreams because of the education you receive. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> Thank you for